This thoroughbred, German, is an almost perfect car for daily use. For such a role, Bora has plenty of advantages, comfortable, elegant and dynamic, it feels great both in city traffic and on highways. A car with a three-volume body on the Golf 4 hatchback platform was first introduced in the fall of 1998 in Paris. The model was positioned as a solid compact class sedan. A year later, the model range was replenished with a modification with the station wagon body, variant. An interesting fact, the related station wagons VW Golf 4 are almost identical in terms of dimensions and technical characteristics, however, the Bora variant has slightly different chassis settings, the car is a little stiffer and has sharper steering. There are cars imported from North America, where the model was sold under the Jetta name as well as those that arrived from Europe or sold through our official dealer network. Outwardly, the American Jetta differs slightly from the European Bora. The trunk lid has a stamping for a square, transatlantic standard number, and orange marker lights have been introduced into the front bumper. As you know, the Americans do not recognize engines of modest volumes and, accordingly, the minimum for the Jetta is a turbocharged 1.8-liter unit or a 2-liter aspirated. So, if you need an option with an economical engine, you should take a closer look at the Europeans. The most preferred option for buying is a car that has undergone all the operations required by the maintenance regulations from an authorized dealer or at least in a specialized service. In this case, the entire history of the machine can be confirmed by entries in the service book or printouts of service work. It is enough just to verify the information provided with the database of the maintenance service, and all doubts about the authenticity of the specified mileage will be finally dispelled. The build quality of the body, regardless of the origin of the car, is at the highest level. All body panels are fitted exactly, the paintwork is also not satisfactory. The interior design is similar to the VW Golf, all interior panels are made of high-quality plastic and provide excellent sound insulation. A little harsh, but with a good seat profile, they have proven themselves well on long trips. The unfolded back of the rear sofa allows you to increase the volume of the trunk, respectively up to 785 liters on a sedan and up to 1470 liters on a station wagon. In the driver's seat, thanks to a wide range of seat and steering column adjustments, in terms of reach and angle of inclination, even a person under 2M tall can get quite comfortable. True, the rear passengers will be cramped, especially if the front ones move their seats as far as possible. Engine. For the sake of marketing policy, engines of less than 1.6 liters were not installed on the Bora in the first years of production, while the Golf 4 engine line began with a 1.4 liter unit. There are also differences in trim levels. On Bora, for example, air conditioning is already included in the basic one, but more than 80% of buyers preferred to pay extra for climate control, which indirectly confirms the prestige of the model. Richer versions may include full power accessories, locks, glass, mirrors, leather-wrapped steering wheel rim and lever handles, rain sensor, precious wood inserts in the door handles and center console, onboard computer, central locking remote control, electric catch, etc. VW Bora has a high level of security. ABS with the function of electronic brake force distribution, ESP is offered as an option, is responsible for its active component, reinforced body frames, at least two front airbags and pyrotechnic pretensioners of the front seat belts are responsible for its passive component. Initially, the car was offered with three petrol engines 1.6L, 101 or 110 horsepower with FSI power system, 2.0L, 116 horsepower, and 2.3L, VR5, 150 and 170 horsepower, as well as two 1.9 liter turbo diesels with direct injection, 90 and 110 horsepower. Later, the line of power units was replenished with 1.4 liter, 75 horsepower, 1.8 liter, 125 horsepower, in the turbocharged version, 150 and 180 horsepower, gasoline engines and a top-end VR6 with a volume of 2.8 liters, 204 horsepower, which was equipped exclusively with all-wheel drive versions, as well as 1.9 liter diesel engines with pump injectors, 115, 130 and 150 horsepower. The 1.6 liter gasoline engine has established itself as the most reliable and unpretentious. The main thing is to strictly observe the timing for replacing the timing belt, 90,000 kilometers for all engines. Replacing a timing belt on a diesel will cost almost twice as much, which in Europe pays off with significantly lower fuel costs. All engines, especially those equipped with direct injection, 
are extremely sensitive to fuel quality and require regular, every 30 to 40,000 kilometers, flushing of injectors. Of the typical malfunctions, it is worth noting that the camshaft drive chain quickly stretches after 100,000 kilometers in 1.8 liter versions. This is cured by replacing the tensioner. On powerful diesel engines, 110, 130 and 150 horsepower, the unit injector and injection pump may require repair very quickly. The owner should not be afraid for the reliability of turbocharged engines, but after the load it is necessary to let them idle a little. Otherwise, the turbine resource may be exhausted already by 100,000 km. Transmission Depending on the engine variant, Volkswagen Bora was equipped with both 5- or 6-speed mechanics, as well as 4- or 5-speed automatics. All types of gearboxes are quite reliable, provided that the recommended oil change intervals are strictly observed. For automatic transmissions, it is 60,000 km, with the simultaneous replacement of the filter and pan gasket. In mechanics, it is recommended to change the oil every 90,000 km. The clutch resource averages about 120,000 km. Suspension The Bora suspension provides a reasonable balance of comfort and handling. The car holds its course well at high speed and copes well with the surprises of our roads. Front, McPherson struts, attached to the subframe through wishbones, rear, semi-dependent beam, working on twisting. In general, the suspension has proven itself to be very reliable. Up to 100,000 kilometers may require replacement, except that the struts and bushings of the front stabilizer, ball joints, and steering tips. When actively driving a loaded car on bad roads up to 100,000 kilometers, there is a possibility of failure of the silent blocks of the front levers, rear beam, and shock absorbers. True, this happens quite rarely. With all engines, with the exception of 1.4 and 1.6 liters, it was possible to order an all-wheel drive transmission. To redistribute the torque between the axles, a Haldex hydraulically controlled multi-plate friction clutch was used. A few cases of breakdowns, as a rule, were the result of a violation of the rules of operation or the installation of wheels of different sizes.